We're so glad that you are on the journey of following Jesus. The purpose of this video is to guide you as you continue on that path. When he put us under the water and then brought us up out of the water, I just remember having this peace come over me. He says, this is what God has done for me, and this is the way that I can show my friends, my family, all the people that have come out to see me baptized today that, yeah, I'm now part of his kingdom. In Acts 2, Peter stands up and addresses a crowd and he tells them about the life events of Jesus that just took place, that he was crucified. And when they heard it, they were cut to the heart and they asked the question, what should we do? And Peter responds and he says, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. It's really a, a public uh, declaration of your faith. Baptism identifies our life with Jesus Christ. In Matthew, Jesus said, whoever acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my Father in heaven. Anyone who has put their faith and trust in Jesus and made him the leader of their life should get baptized. You shouldn't be ashamed of what Jesus has done in your life. In the first century church, there was really no such thing as an unbaptized follower of Jesus. And when they were baptized, there was lots of celebration. In Acts 2, 41, we see that after they accepted the message, they were baptized. And then you also go to Acts 10. You see that Peter commanded them to be baptized after they received the message of Jesus Christ. And this pattern continues throughout Acts in the New Testament of people receiving Jesus and then being baptized. Jesus gave us the example. He, he himself was baptized, even though he was without sin and, and really didn't need to be baptized. He did that to give us the example that we should be baptized when we make that decision to follow him. Baptism is a great symbol. It's a creative picture that God gave to us. When we're baptized, we stand in the water like Jesus dying on the cross. And then we go down into the water as Jesus was buried. And then we're raised up out of the water, showing that Jesus was raised to new life. This also depicts what happens in the life of a believer. So why be baptized? Because we're following Christ's commands, showing our commitment, making a public declaration, and symbolizing the power of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ in our lives. through uh, going under the water and coming up out of the water, it shows dying to ourselves and um, really living uh, for the Lord. The Greek word baptizo in the New Testament means to submerge or immerse. So why do we believe immersion is important? It's because of the picture. It's the picture of the spiritual reality of dying with Christ in being raised to new life with Christ. Baptism also symbolizes kind of a washing, a washing and renewing. And we know that Jesus does this by dying for our sins and taking our place so that we can be washed and forgiven of our sins. After you've accepted Jesus as the leader in your life, baptism is um, kind of a follow-up. So you should get baptized as soon as possible. As soon as you can do it, you should get baptized. We see people baptized the same day that they put their faith and trust in Christ as we look at the New Testament. So maybe it's been 20 minutes after you've received Jesus. Maybe it's been 20 hours or 20 days or 20 years even. It's never too late to go public with your faith. We want to encourage you to do that. Thank you so much for joining us in this video about baptism. Now what you can do is just click on the response and send us your answers if you'd like to continue on in the journey.